Welcome back to Houston Life. Don't be scared to get crafty this Halloween season. There are plenty of easy DIYs the entire family, even Tessa, can join in on. That is right. Alexis Geisler with Craftworks is joining us now. She has creative ideas that'll give them something a pumpkin. Wait, give them pumpkin. I, 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 <laughs> that'll I, give I, them pumpkin to talk about. That's what I was trying to do. There you go. Do. There you I go. Was working on the key. Tessa hasn't had coffee or food or anything. The wisdom I teeth are coming out. I am a shell of a person. Hi, Alexis. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys? Great. Better now that you're here to talk uh, instead yeah. of me. So what are we doing today? So Halloween's a really mm. fun holiday to make crafts for, and so we've got a couple of really easy projects that people can do today. The first one we're going to be doing is this acrylic pouring over pumpkin. And this is cool, Alexis, because a lot of people, you know, the carving can get messy. There are a lot of different ways to decorate a pumpkin. I've never seen anything quite like this. And this will yeah. make them last. I made the mistake, being from the Midwest, where you could carve your pumpkin two weeks prior to Halloween. The first mm. year we went oh, to. Oh, no, Rookie. no, no. It was not a good situation. <laughs> <laughs> by Halloween, so it's, this one will last. And to clarify, it's cold enough in the Midwest yes. that your pumpkin stays Doesn't alive. Rot. Here in Houston, yes, it turns to liquid mush. Not right. good. So, so you can use real pumpkins for this, or you can even use a faux pumpkin, like a faux oh. one you get at the craft store. Oh, cool. All and right. You can just reuse it year after year. I see some paint here. Yes. And what's the process of, it, of applying this? Absolutely. So the first thing you want to do is we have a flow medium called flow trawl, which you get at the hardware store. And so we poured some of that in. Flow trawl. Yes. It just helps the paint flow. You find it in the paint section at any hardware store. Flow trawl. I've never heard of flow trawl. I yes. haven't either. Okay. So, so you're going to take this and you're doing about a one to one ratio. So give it a pretty healthy squirt right in there. Okay. Yeah. And, and you're doing Houston Good. Life colors, but they're yes. also very similar to Astro's colors. They yeah. are. Like so you can go ahead and just mix that up. Oh, I'm mixing it entirely up. Yes. Okay. So you'll mix that and that just helps the medium stack on top of each other and then it will help it flow. Gorgeous. So then once you've mixed it, you're going to take the colors and okay. just start to layer them into the cup in a pattern. So you can go okay. ahead and start pouring. I would pour about in a third to a half. Yep. Ooh, I like the gold. Alexis, for people who might just try to skip the flow trawl medium and do it with the paint, what would go wrong if they do that? It just won't flow as easily over it. You can also try water. There's different recipes out there. So it thins it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there's no flow, thinning. it won't go. <laughs> there. there you go. I've always said the same thing. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm layering, I'm going. That's perfect. So you can go ahead and just kind of layer those in. And so then once you've got them layered in, you're gonna take them and you're going to just start to slowly pour it over the top of the pumpkin. This is gonna, And you're this just is gonna keep pouring until it's all run out. Okay. How long do I have to mix this? You're done, this? you can oh, okay. stop. No, keep going, You just look like you were having fun. My little wrists are getting tired. Oh, look at this. That's cool. Yeah, so the colors oh. just start to then move down the pumpkin. And what's neat is it'll continue to change kind of throughout the process. Gorgeous. Whoa. Yes. Oh okay, that is really, really cool. Now, obviously you have this little tray here, so if people yes. have like a little protector they can put down on the counter. Yeah, the workspace. any kind of thing to protect your workspace. How long does it take to dry? And once it does dry, is there anything we need to be mindful of? I mean, would this hold up in the rain in case we get a storm? Uh, I guess it depends on what kind of rain. If it's a Houston rain or this kind of rain we've had now, or like no. just floating no. down the Make street the there. Inside. <laughs> but yeah, it takes about 24 hours. Just let it dry overnight, and then you're good to go. That is really beautiful. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do this because this is my style. I don't like all the carving. It's bunky, it's messy, but this, look at this. And it's great because kids Art. can do this. We actually did this at a birthday party with 25 nine-year-olds this weekend. So it's really great That's project like for menu. anybody. And Craftworks, by the way, they do mobile parties, right? I mean, you'll meet yeah. people and do all kinds of stuff. Absolutely. Uh, this next one, what is that, a bubble cauldron? Yeah, so this is a really popular trend on TikTok and other social media right now where you make this faux cauldron. So all you're gonna take is a cauldron. We actually stuffed it with old t-shirts and rags and grocery bags just oh. to kind of fill it. So it's a great way to upcycle some items you already have. Yeah. And then we cut some cardboard and then we just added some of that cobwebbing that you get just to give it that little smoky effect yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. This is the webs I like to call. And then you just start taking ornaments and you just start layering the ornaments in. So you okay. can just pull out the escutcheon that's in it. Okay. And then we just save those for some other crafts. And then on this, we added these little glue dots. Oh, so I see. So then you just start building. And you can use hot glue or whatever you have laying around, but these glue dots, they're called zots actually, oh. are great because then you can take these apart very easily and you can just reuse them again. This cauldron, by the way, seems like it would be fun for photos or table decor or even to put, because they're so lightweight, you it could is. put them up on a, maybe a higher shelf. Yeah. It looks so Absolutely. realistic. It looks like, when I came in, I just touched these because they look like bubbles. It Reminds me of Glinda, the Good Witch of the North. It's like so realistic. It you is, and then you can even kind of have home. them like yeah, cascade over the side. Totally. 
So we've got this one kind of cascading down to look oh, like the nice. bubbles are coming out. And you can add a ribbon. There's all kinds of things you can just do to zhuzh it up. Very cool. This is where I do my magic potions. It really is beautiful. And the glue dots, I think, are a really smart option because, yeah, yeah they come in a roll like this, and mm -hmm. you just peel them right off. So oh, it's not wow. it's not really a messy craft. No, and with these, you can actually just, like, roll them right over, and then you just stick it wherever you like it. Cool. Look at that. Yes. I've this heard that they work well for the balloon arches. Yes. All yep. kinds of crafts. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, Alexis Gorgeous. Geisler, so Craftworks, again, it, whether it's a birthday party, a corporate party, you're always out doing all kinds of cool ideas. Wow, that's a beautiful one. Yeah, we're booking up for the holidays, so if people want us to come do an event with them, you know, get on our calendar soon. We do things for kids, adults, all kinds of fun stuff. I love that it runs the gamut from like Thank a beautiful you. accessory like this. Look how gorgeous yeah, that pillow this is. This was very calming for me, so look. Oh, so good, I'm glad. Yes. You got a big afternoon. <laughs> okay, so if you want to connect with Alexis and you want more information on these holidays, Halloween crafts, visit our site, houstonlife.tv, and go to the scene on section. Um, okay. Uh, okay. see how it's changing as it's going down. It that is so really pretty. is beautiful. And what's this stuff called one more time? It's called Flow Troll, and Flow we have troll. it listed on the ingredients on the website if you go to the Houston Life. And what's the okay, saying? Perfect. Do you remember the saying that I Flow Troll. No, I don't. <laughs> it won't go if, if it, it doesn't, doesn't have the flow. Okay. I don't even know if that's what I said the okay, first time. Okay, we got it. <laughs>